Hi, this is Bob Aitino from Path Trading Partners along with Mike Arnold. Just want to do a quick crude oil video before EIA. EIA is coming out. The uh, inventory numbers are coming out in about 10 minutes. We're recording this on Thursday morning. There's a lot going on between the OPEC cuts uh, and the adherence to those cuts. A shale oil coming back. EIA yesterday put out an estimate that there were 45,000 more barrels a day drilled and pumped in the U.S. in February. That conservatively amounts to another 500,000 barrels a day by year end, the forward 10 months. We also have demand, which rose sharply in the fourth quarter of last year. We'll see if that's going to continue. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Mike to show you what he's seeing on the charts so we can get this done before the numbers actually come out. Okay, thanks, Bob. Let's go over the, we have both a bullish case and a bearish case, and I guess if it doesn't trigger either way, a neutral case. Right now we have the weekly crude oil chart up. For the bullish case, it would be a move above this high, which was the high of 55.24. If we get a move and especially a close above that, I am looking for it to first fill this gap which would then target the 5650 mark. And then if we get above that, I'm looking for it to target the end of a clear path move, which is essentially this $60 mark. So that's the two targets for the bullish case, but we do need a move above this high. Now, the bearish case, let me switch to a daily because it's easier to see. Here we have a daily. What I will be watching for is the aggressive is a close below this low right here. We have a rising trend line. If we get a close below that low, which is 50.75, that's an aggressive entry. The conservative entry is a close below this open, which is 49.88. So that's the conservative entry. If we get those entries, if we get either of those entries, we have right around the 48, we'll call it the 48.35 mark as a first price target and a second price target of the 47.25 mark. So somewhere in here, we have a lot of confluence. We have a rising 200 day simple moving average with this other trend line. When this triggers, there's a lot of support down here. So those, that's the second target, the first target again, being up around the 4835 mark. So those are the that is a bearish case and again the bullish case we'd have to get a move above this 5524 and especially a close above that to trigger that potential gap fill on the weekly basis. It's a good teaching lesson here. People ask us all the time if you think it's going up, why do you wait till it goes above a level or if you think it's going down, why do you wait till it goes below a level because we don't necessarily think it's going anywhere. We see what price action will generate and what we can you know, dictate that's high probability, and we trade that. Right now, we don't have an opinion on which direction it's going to go. We just have a high probability that it's going to go to the spots Mike pointed to if it goes below that level or above that 55.24. All right, cheers, guys. We got the number in a few minutes, so we'll see what happens. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Bob Iacchino and Mike Arnold with another Path Chat on crude oil. Take care, guys.